Mr. Speaker, last year, schools across the country received $2 billion in funding to see COVID-19 safety measures implemented before the school year began, including schools within SD38, the district where I once held the honor of serving as a Board of Education trustee. This year, schools are still facing uncertainty as the pandemic continues, and I must bring to the government's attention that vaccines for 12 years or older alone are not enough. Richmond schools require an enhanced sanitization and staff to disinfect high touch areas. They also need support for essential health and safety supplies and PPE, including child size masks and hand sanitizer as well with learners having been greatly impacted by the isolation, mental health support for students and staff, it's also critical. There's still work to be done to prepare our nations for reopening and to ensure our children and youth have a safe return to school this fall. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.